Hello everyone. I want to uh, do a knife review. This is my first knife review. Um, I'm going to be reviewing this knife here. Um, comparing it to this knife. If you know anything about knives at all, you know what this is. This is the Chris Reeves Small Sabenza 21. This one here is a JBB knife uh, made by Brad Blunt. And I do not see very many reviews on this. Um, pretty much zero reviews actually. So I'm going to compare this knife to this knife. Um, for several reasons but the main reasons is they're both pricey knives uh, but they're also about the same size so uh, real quick like I said I'm not going to review this but I'll go over what this is this is the Chris Reeves small Sabenza 21 um, I carry this every day so it's kind of nasty you can uh, see pocket lint snail trails and different markings on it um that's okay i do carry it every day so what we have here is a titanium handle knife for those who don't know with an s35 bn steel and it is a frame lock so real quick um just to compare uh or to let everybody know exactly what we're looking at here. Like I said, this is titanium. S35 steel blade. This is a frame lock made in the United States. You can see the lock up there on this frame lock. And then you can see the blade centering. If you know anything about Chris Reeves knives, you know this is a very high quality knife. Uh, the tolerances or uh, he is very picky with his knives, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but anyways, you can see the extra attention to detail here, the way things are rounded off on the edges here, and then rounded off on the blade itself here. nice chipping like I said I do carry this every day so it's worn but you can tell uh, the great attention to detail I will say um, with this knife I had to send it back to Chris Reeves I had a crack, a hairline crack above this thumb stud that actually went around the top and into the other side. Uh, so they did replace the blade for free. They cleaned everything up, put a new lanyard on it. That's been a year or so ago. So, like I said, I carry this every day, so it's free. So we're looking at a $350 knife uh, before taxes. This is what a $350 knife looks like for those who do not know. Okay. So comparing that to this one here, as far as size goes, you can tell it's about the same size in length. The handles are the same length. Both of them are titanium. This is a full custom knife that I do carry every day since I've uh, got it. But um, let's open the blades up. This is S35 VN steel. This one is uh, CPM 440, I'm guessing. Uh, most of his are. But anyways, you can tell That the blade length is well the cutting edge is a little longer on the Sabenza. The cutting edge is the same, but when you compare the 
the ends there. It's pretty much the same length. There's the comparison of the blade thickness. All right. Now, like I said, this is a frame lock for those who don't know. And this is a spring lock for those who don't know. So, um, I'm not reviewing this. I'm reviewing this one here. So, like I said, this is $350 uh, before taxes. This one will cost you, uh, if you can find it, if you could, if you are able to get one of these, uh, they're, I'm guessing, around $1,000 to 2000 probably above 2000 uh, I got this one a little cheaper. Um, I live in the same town as Brad Blunt and was able to purchase this. Um, I was able to meet up with him at a local gas station, so I guess this is technically a gas station knife. But anyways, uh, so I met Brad, uh, like I said, in the gas station park lot and paid for this. I, I, I'm thinking I got a little deal on this uh, compared to other prices I've seen. So compared to $350 to a very expensive knife up in the four digits, um, both of them are titanium. S35VN steel on the Sabenza, and I believe this is CPM 440. Um, I think um, a lot of custom knife makers prefer this, uh, but buyers, I would say, would prefer the S35VN. So, um, let me uh, go over this knife with the, the cost of this knife um, and carrying it every day since I have bought it. Uh, it's fully custom. This is one man making this knife compared to a handful of people that work with Chris Reese. But anyways, so I think that the attention to detail is definitely there. Very nice, uh, very clean, even. Okay, so as a slip joint, I'm looking at is there any gaps in here? And there's no gaps. Um, this is absolutely smooth. You cannot feel the spring at all. Um, with those handles. Super smooth. Super smooth. Uh, right here, this lock up. Super smooth. Okay. Half stop. Super smooth. The back spring is not uh, protruding. Some people are picky about that. Uh, I'm kind of picky about that for whatever reason, but super smooth. Super smooth, okay. So, blade centering is center. There's no blade rub. Uh, now there's no finger notch here to pull. You just you're gonna to have to grip on the blade to pull because it is super it's super tight. Um, I can press on my thumb and can you can see it push it pushes down just a hair. Uh, but once this is locked, it's not going anywhere. So a quick review here, I'm telling you, uh, I'm super impressed with everything about this knife. So showing off this knife to uh, people I go to work with and church with, uh, they know that I'm big on knives. Um, two things, two things 
two complaints about this knife. Um, the first complaint is the price. It is a very expensive knife. I do get that uh, it is one man. Um, one man making this uh, and I know he is paying for his materials, his time, so I totally understand. Um, it is a custom knife, but it is an expensive knife. Um, so that's the first thing. Uh, this is the most expensive knife I have. Okay. So that's the first thing. It is a little expensive. Second thing, um, now I will say this knife is scary sharp. It is extremely sharp. It may be the sharpest knife I have. Um, it is very sharp. But my complaint for this knife, if you're going to be paying um, what you have to pay to get this, if you can look at that cutting edge, the, uh, the consistency is fine until you get right here. And I know that can be reshaped or whatever, but paying that much for a knife, I would like to see that be a little more even when you flip it over here. This side does not go that high. This one isn't so bad. Um, looks pretty good. Actually looks really good. But here, I don't know. I just think that needed to be a little more even. So those are my two complaints, um, the price, but I understand the price, I understand. Um, but it is expensive. And then that right there. Everything else about this knife is, uh, it's, it's right on, it's perfect. And the sound that it makes uh, opening and closing it is well made it is well made um, I thought this was expensive when I bought it uh, but that changed when I bought this so at the end of the day um, would I buy another one well would I buy another one of these Everybody has seen reviews on this knife. You either love it or hate it. I absolutely love it. And I would like to be able to buy more Chris Reeves knives, okay? I like it. Um, if, if it wasn't so expensive on my budget, I would be buying these all day from uh, Brad Blunt. Uh, the guy definitely knows what he's doing. Uh, this right here, I don't know. His attention to detail is definitely there. Um, I guess one other complaint if I had any, uh, you know, if you're going to be paying that kind of price for this kind of knife. Um, Would you want something better than CPM 440? You know, uh, for that price, would you want? Is that okay? Because you can get a lot of knives with CPM 440 uh, a whole lot cheaper. Just uh, I guess the only difference is they're not custom. So this is a quick review of a Brad Blunt knife, uh, JBB knives.
and uh, hopefully this um, will help you out if you're looking for custom knives not only custom knives but uh, his knives in particular uh, and you're just kind of looking for a review to learn more a little more about it before uh, you try to buy one uh, I know those videos out there uh, th there's no videos out there really to cover it uh, explain the knife no I don't I don't know what this weighs uh, obviously it's hefty it's obviously heftier than this I think the main reason why is that big chunk of back spring and the thickness of that blade obviously so that's a no-brainer so I think these weigh around three ounces or so so I would say this is probably uh, at least four maybe five ounces maybe more than that I don't know but I don't have a scale to weigh that so um, if this helps you out um, give me a thumbs up you can leave some comments and I will answer them uh, best of my knowledge and uh, like I said this is my first video and if this is something you guys would like to see uh, let me know uh, and uh, you can subscribe all right thank you